Welcome back to the 11th session of the Art as Therapy. I'm Yoko. Today, we'll learn about the effect stress has on our health and how Art as Therapy can help us to relieve our stress and relax. We'll also explore some activities for relaxation. Stress is a part of life and it happens anytime at all ages. Stress can come from a single event, people or relationships, and fulfilling the demands and needs of life. In life, stressors or sources of stress are inevitable. We experience stress everywhere, in work and in life. It is a matter of how we manage our stress. Do we use a positive or a negative strategy to deal with stress? A positive strategy to manage stress is one that focuses on work-life-body balance. That is, to regulate stress using a range of active responses from changing our thinking, emotions, physical exercise and behavior. This way, we will feel relief and achieve good health. A negative strategy to manage stress is one that may leave our stress into more toxins by simply tolerating stress with a passive attitude or using maladaptive thinking or behavior, such as reliance on alcohol, smoking, etc. As such, our body and mind experience more wear and tear and this will lead to poor health. Negative stress causes toxins called cortisol, which increases our blood flow and heartbeat, and can affect our health in many ways. For example, our immune system might be compromised, or our mind clouded with worry and negativity, and we become more prone to irritability, smooth swings, and depression. Studies show that art-making activities helps us to regulate our blood flow and maintain a good energy flow, also called qi. This is because making art is a self-paced activity where the art maker can focus on the present moment, moving or responding in the creative process according to his or her own pace and rhythm. By slowing down, it helps the art maker regulate his breathing too. Some studies show that painting for at least 45 minutes helps to reduce cortisol or stress hormones significantly, while other studies show that patients residing in hospitals who make art regularly have a significant reduction in inflammatory disease. Physiologically, making art involves moving the body and fine motor skills through small, purposeful movements which may help to prevent pain and stiffness. The repetitive motion also helps to relax the muscles and sometimes shake off negative bodily emotions. We can also make art in nature such as doing live landscape painting. Being in nature helps to rejuvenate our body and absorb the positive energy from nature. We are going to explore three therapeutic art activities to experience stress relief and relaxation. These three activities going from a more representational image to a more uh, emotional exploration to the last directive which is more focusing on the present moment. So I'm going to share with you how to prepare coffee painting. First, we need the coffee. So there are a few choices that you can consider. For instance, this kind of uh, instant coffee pack. So this kind of coffee powder pack. And you can also use this type of uh, coffee granules. And for the tools that you're going to do the painting, you can use paintbrush. If uh, you don't have a paintbrush, you can also consider materials like cotton buds, a small fork, or a spoon. 
So usually for painting, we prepare a slightly thicker paper called watercolor paper. But if you don't have, it's also fine to have a normal type of printing paper. So first of all, we'll prepare the coffee paint. I'm going to use three small plastic saucers. I'm going to prepare a few tones of the coffee paint. So I'll use hot water. So initially, the texture of this first plate of coffee paint will be thicker, like the texture of syrup. This will be your dark tone. So after you have the first coffee paint, you can actually pour a little bit to the second one and also just a little into the third plate. So what I'm going to do is to create a few tones, being the dark tone, the mid tone and the light tone. So I'm going to add a bit more water to the mid tone. And then I'm going to mix more water to the lightest tone. So when everything is ready, you can start painting anything that comes to your mind. For art activities to relax, I would suggest you to slow down and really go with the flow or not thinking about creating something perfect. It's more about the process. So thinking about this slowing down, the image of a turtle comes to my mind. Maybe I'll paint a turtle first. So I'll start with uh, a mid-tone perhaps. So because you have different tones, you can always add the darker one to represent some shadows. So as we are using a fluid medium like coffee, you can notice the flow of the coffee on the paper, the dynamics, the movement, and when you are slowing down, you can also notice your internal environment and also the external environment. So next, we'll explore another directive of painting a landscape. So in this directive, I'm going to explore more on emotions and feelings. So now that I want to de-stress and relax, I'm thinking about this place that I would like to go, which is the sea. I'm imagining about the breeze. So I'm going to express these feelings using more of uh, the flow and uh, the movement of the lines instead of really drawing the scenery. So thinking about the feelings of the sea waves and the breeze, I'm relaxing and focusing on just my body movement. And this repetitive motion helped me to really slow down looking at the lines, the movement as I'm painting without much intentions but just focus on my feelings. I'm relaxing and my shoulders are more relaxed and I'm also uh, moving my body with the motion. I'm listening to my body. I'm listening to my feelings, how I want to move my brush or my tools. The image is secondary. What's more important is that I'm connecting to my feelings and trying to relax and be present. So as I'm painting, I'm also noticing the scent of the coffee 
it helps me to stay in the present, that I'm smelling it, that I'm really with this process. So in this directive, I'm going to explore painting with my breath. So basically, I'm going to paint every stroke according to the pattern of my breathing. So you can imagine the moment you take the paint, you breathe in, and then you breathe out while you move your brush until you finish this exhalation, breathing out. While I'm talking, I uh, cannot do it, so I'm going to show you when I am picking up the paint, I breathe in, then I get ready, then I'll breathe out while I move the brush. Breathing in, breathing out. This activity helps me to regulate my breathing. I'm aware that I'm breathing slowly as when I am also noticing the running out of paint. So again, it's not about the image and it's not about being perfect. It's about being in the present, feeling my hand moving. So we have finished three directives using coffee painting. From the first one, exploring a representational drawing. The second one, exploring with our emotions. The last one, exploring with our breath. We have come to the end of today's session. To summarize, we have explored the effects of stress on our health and how art as therapy can help to relieve our stress. We have also explored some therapeutic art activities for relaxation. I hope you enjoyed the session. See you next time.